to other people it sounds like a very interesting idea, but for a Northeasterner uh, who's lived outside the Northeast, um, the very obvious starting point of looking at differences, you know, when you're living in the city is actually um, when you start cooking something because inevitably you're cooking, you know, akhuni or you're cooking ngari or, you know, the fermented dry fish or a bunch of ingredients which, you know, tend to be a little on the maladora side and smell pungent and, you know, all of that and the neighbors get in and, you know, create havoc. So, um, so that was a very obvious starting point and I wanted to tell that story. Well, I, the thing is, um, while there's a certain, uh, you know, a great deal of prejudice and racism and so on and so forth that Northeasterners go through, um, I was very clear that I didn't want to make a, a very biased film where we only see, um, you know, Northeasterners being the victims because the truth is, you know, hello, in the Northeast there's so much prejudice directed against uh, non-Northeasterners. You know, I've lived in the Northeast for so long. I've seen it play out. I've lived in Nagaland and I've lived in, you know, Meghalaya. I've seen, you know, non-Northeasterners, you know, uh, being uh, on the receiving end of uh, prejudice and, and, and racism. You know, we treat them very badly, you know, the, the non-tribals as we call them. So, so prejudice is everywhere. And, uh, and in a sense, the only solution is to be aware that, that we do it. And, and you know, and to curtail it. So with the film, I was clear that while I wanted to project racism against Northeasterners uh, in in Delhi and Bangalore and so on, that also I wanted to show um, you know prejudice within the Northeastern community against each other and against Nepalis, Bengalis, etc. You know. Um, so in that sense, I think the the film is very balanced, uh, and I've heard that common coming from other people as well. Um, lots of challenges, yeah, I could go on and on and on, but casting was one big problem. The fact that I was looking at, you know, an 80% cast of Northeasterners and uh, there aren't many Northeastern actors, you know, so that took a long time just finding the actors, workshopping with them and getting them to perform. Um, that was one problem. Then, of course, uh, the film, you know, it was a very small budget, so working within that very tiny budget and making it look good was another issue. Then we shot in Delhi and it was in the heat of uh, summer, so again, the, the, you know, the problem of just the, you know, of the incredible heat and uh, trying to sustain, a, you know, a 30-day shoot, uh, you know, uh, during that time. Um, a whole bunch of problems, yeah, and then, yeah, just a whole lot of problems, yeah. I would like to because that's my, uh, I mean, that's the whole purpose in some senses of my existence, right, to be able to work with Northeastern people and tell Northeastern stories. So, um, so this is the first step, you know, just introducing a bunch of them to film, but also we have other people like, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a wonderful actor called Lanu Akam. Uh, who's from NSD, um, great actor. So he's in the film. There's somebody like Lynn Lyshram, who's very popular, who's been around for a long time. So there are people who are already acting anyway. So uh, the thing is, um, you know, faces and the idea of acceptance of faces is also um, very fickle and it's really in the mind. And uh, you take the example, the classic example of Danny Denzongpa, who uh, looks completely northeastern. You know, so he could be in a in a Chinese film, he could be in a Japanese film, and nobody would bat an eyelid because he looks like one. You know, and uh, and yet he was featured in all these big Bollywood films. You know, and and that was because once he was able to break that barrier and and the people found acceptance, you know, uh, accepted him as an actor, then, um, then they went beyond the face. They didn't see him as looking different, you know, that he had uh, Northeastern features or East Asian features. They didn't see that at all. By that time, they accepted him as, as just another Indian face, in quotes, you know. And so he was playing the characters of a bandit somewhere and he was playing the, uh, the, 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 the character of a villain in, you know, in Bombay or Delhi or the hero's brother, you know, and so on and so forth. So he was just playing all these characters that would normally go to a North Indian, you know, 
and uh, and that's the beauty of, of art uh, after a while after uh, when you're exposed to an image enough or a face enough it, it gains acceptance and then uh, the, the, uh, that's happened with uh, Kalki to a certain extent now, uh, you know, who's a very Cauca who has a very Caucasian face, but she's accepted as an Indian, so she plays all these Indian characters. Um, so that's what we need to do with Northeastern faces too, you know. We need to see more of them in, 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 in film so that there's a wider acceptance. And after a while, I think they can play any part and it would just be... Um, it would be accepted by the audience. Um, well, I mean, it didn't receive a standing ovation for a minute. Uh, it received a, a semi-standing ovation in the sense that there were a lot of people that stood up, not everybody, um, and they stood up for a while, maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, I don't know, I wasn't counting. But that itself is unusual because there's not a, uh, there isn't really a great, um, you know, custom of standing ovations, etc. in, in, in Mami. Uh, you don't see much of it. Um, so, so that was heartening, just to know that it was accepted so much by, uh, you know, by people. Yeah, I'm an old filmmaker, I've been around for a while, you know, uh, I've been working in dr drama, whether it's theatre or film, for the last 25 years. Um, and you have to work hard, yeah, that's the only thing, you know, you have to work really, really hard. I think I've worked virtually every day of my life, I've worked long hours, I've tried to educate myself. I think also coming from the Northeast, initially for me, um, you know, I, I didn't know much. Um, you know, you come from a neglected area and uh, suddenly in Delhi you were meeting people who, you know, were very educated, you know, had gone to the best colleges in, in the world, you know, from, from Harvard to, you know, um, to Columbia and so on and so forth. And uh, learning, realizing that you know very little and, and, and that there was so much that you had to pick up. So, um, so there's a lot of hard work involved, just reading up and keeping abreast of things and, you know, and honing your skills. I, I honestly can say that I've worked very, very hard and I'm very disciplined. Uh, you know, I'm at work at 8 o'clock in the morning and this is in, 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 in Bombay, not in the northeast where 8 o'clock is kind of late in Bombay, you know, where the sun sets much, much later, uh, you know, and the sun therefore rises much, much later, um, you know, uh, 8 o'clock is very early, but I, I work hard, um, you know, every day I'm at my desk uh, working early in the morning. I mean, it's growing now. Um, again, I haven't seen too many films, but I'm seeing with, uh, you know, I've... I met Tia, for instance, who made the film Nana, and it's a lovely film, you know. And uh, because of uh, Dreams Unlimited and people like Tia, etc., you also have uh, actors now, you know, and good actors. Uh, and that's wonderful because, uh, for instance, in Shillong, I, I, I don't think, you know, we still have a dearth of, um, uh, of, of actors at the level that that is happening in Nagaland because of all the YouTube videos that uh, Dreams Unlimited is producing, etc. You know, that, so that's great. You know, we have we have actors. Um, you know, uh, and 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 so you know now we just need more filmmakers working with these actors to tell these stories.